Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman with Ask Adapt for Adapt Your Life. Today's episode is in regard to keto and hormones. Well, there's a lot of uh, different effects of the keto diet on the hormonal function of women, of men, uh, children, older folks. I mean, the changes generally are toward an improvement or normalization. Um, I'm just back from the Metabolic Health Summit that was in uh, Long Beach, California this year. And one of the, the uh, things that's becoming clear to me is that there's been confusion among the different uses of a keto diet. So, for example, at this meeting there was one section of uh, use of the keto diet to improve metabolic problems. And then there was another section on how to use the keto diet for human optimization. So it's important to keep in mind where you're starting in terms of the effect of the keto diet on hormones. So if you're overweight, obese, you have difficulty with something like polycystic ovary syndrome, where it's an abnormal uh, hormonal imbalance where uh, women have too much testosterone around, then the keto diet will actually help that. Um, if you're just losing weight in general, the testosterone will improve for men. So it, um, for women, it improves in one way to lower testosterone, and in men, it improves things by raising testosterone. So the general theme is that it takes you toward the normal uh, if you're not normal where you are right now. Um, there were some great talks at the Metabolic Health Summit on the human op optimization where, okay, you've already lost all your weight or you have no abnormal condition, but you're just trying to improve things now. And that's a different situation where um, it's kind of uncharted water, I, I believe. There's not a whole lot of data to guide us other than people's individual stories and how you feel. Of course, we have the luxury of being able to test all these hormones in a clinical situation. So your doctor can actually help you figure out the hormonal balance uh, in any of these cases. If you are coming from a state of not being normal now, don't worry about it because the keto diet will, will fix you in that direction with uh, PCOS, with overweight, obesity, diabetes. Uh, but if you're now trying to optimize uh, you know, you're starting where you're normal, then I think measuring your own levels with your doctor's input, uh, or you may have to push the doctor to measure those things, is a fine idea. And the general um, hormonal measurements that we do for men and women are, are widely known to doctors today. Um, so, in general, the keto diet will improve the hormonal situation that you're in. Um, back to the question, so will keto have a positive or negative effect on PCOS? Uh, well, yes. So PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, is a common cause of infertility in women. I've actually had people go to our uh, uh, endocrine uh, fertility, uh, or it's a GYN fertility center. They don't have success, and then they finally say, oh, well, why don't you try losing weight, and they come on our program, the keto diet, and they are able to have uh, fertility. So even the, the diet can work in situations where the current medical fertility drugs and efforts don't work. Um, will keto have a positive or a negative effect through menopause? Well, that's another interesting area and um, no question. <laughs> there are changes. Some women actually tell me that their periods come back or their hot flashes come back. It's, it's rare. Uh, but that's possible. Um, and um, actually, one of the best videos I've seen on that is by Jackie Everstein uh, on the uh, effect on female hormones. Um, trying to get pregnant, is keto dangerous? Will, uh, will it affect fertility? Yeah, I've had numerous people uh, be able to be pregnant after changing the diet when they had trouble with normal periods and fertility before. Um, is it dangerous? Well, we really don't know. I don't think so. Uh, there are more and more people who are doing it, uh, uh, not eating carbohydrates, that is, during pregnancy. In fact, the OBGYN field knew about uh, diabetes in pregnancy and was one of the first 
fields to do glucose tolerance tests in a big way, they'll actually have you reduce carbohydrates if you have diabetes during pregnancy called gestational diabetes. So I, I would say there's not enough information to say that it's all, and that it's safe to do and that you, you know, should do it without any worry. Um, as one uh, GYN professor told us at an obesity medicine meeting, he just wanted to keep track of how the baby was growing. He really didn't care what was going on with the, the mother as long as the baby was growing and healthy. Um, so um, so I, I'm really, really not sure about keto and pregnancy yet. Um, Will I be able to gain muscle and what will this do to my testosterone? Yes, well, Jeff Volick, who gave a great presentation at Metabolic Health Summit and Adam Nally gave a great presentation on uh, exercise, testosterone, muscle gain, and you are able to gain muscle uh, while actually while you're losing fat weight. So you can be losing weight and gaining muscle at the same time if you support yourself with protein uh, in a keto diet. So that that's uh, that was kind of the holy grail of weight loss to be able to gain or, or not lose muscle at least while you're losing fat weight, and that can be accomplished on a low carb keto diet. Um, I hope to do more videos on the Metabolic Health Summit. It was fantastic. It's held every year, uh, and I hope you'll watch some of those videos from there. Uh, it was just uh, great to see the enthusiasm behind keto and the uh, low carb diets growing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below. Leave us your questions. Till the next time.